How's it going, everyone? Want to cover a couple of things, some free stuff you can get over at the PlayStation Store right now? A major free upgrade that was scheduled for 2023. I think a lot of us had expected it to be pushed into 2024. We got the official confirmation it has, in fact, been pushed to 2024, so we'll talk about that. And Prince of Persia The Lost Crown gets a gameplay overview trailer. On top of that, remember, we do have a release date for that, and uh, that's one of those games that's coming out early in January that a lot of people... Uh, kind of are forgetting about, so we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, free PlayStation Network Avatar and Marvel Spider-Man Spider-Bot PlayStation Stars Digital Collectible is available right now by redeeming the following code. In America, it's HKPPBJ46E64X, Europe EX37RGC7, XXN6, and then Japan X8NN. 6HKAH3R4. So all of that is available right now if you do want some free stuff. Uh, free PSN Avatar as well as a Spider-Man, a Spider-Bot, PlayStation Stars Digital Collectible. Speaking of free stuff... Celebrating the holiday spirit over on Sonic Superstar, suit up and spread holiday cheer to the North Star Islands this holiday season with the free Sonic Holiday Costume DLC in Sonic Superstars today. That's a game that I imagine a lot of you guys picked up as it did see deep discounts during uh, Black Friday and whatnot. It went all the way down to like 35 bucks, and that's going to be the case for like Sonic games I feel like every year. Uh, they usually come out at the end of October, early November, Black Friday's right after that, and it usually drops deep in price. Um, you know, Sonic games generally speaking, don't hold up in price that long. Um, even Sonic Frontiers went on sale fairly quickly uh, after coming out, and that was a really well-received game. Like, Superstars was a game that I feel like a lot of people were like, why is this game $60? Um, but yeah, even then, that game went down to $35, $40 bucks very, very quickly. So, uh, Sonic Superstars free DLC available there, and then the free PlayStation Network Avatar and a Spider-Bot PlayStation Stars Digital Collectible available now using the code. Moving on from that, Fallout 4's next-gen update has been delayed to 20 2024. Uh, this is something that was announced for 2023 a while ago. I want to say the Fallout 4 upgrade was announced in 2022. And, um, yeah, the upgrade, we just hadn't heard anything about it. It's supposed to be a free upgrade. And by the time we got to, like, the halfway point of the year and then really into September, I was like, okay, if we're not hearing anything about this Fallout 4 upgrade, chances are it's been quietly moved to 2024. Well, quietly no longer as it has been officially delayed. I mean, now we're in December. Thanks for finally getting that delay out there, Bethesda. I wasn't expecting it by the end of this year, but thanks for the official confirmation. Thank you for your patience with us as we work on the Fallout 4 Next Gen update. A tweet from the official Fallout account reads, We know you're excited and so are we, but we need a little bit more time and look forward to an exciting return to the Commonwealth in 2024. Uh, this version is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series and it will be available as a free upgrade for existing owners of the game. I've been often mentioning that whenever Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition goes on sale, to pick it up just in case if there's some Witcher 3 shenanigans that go on with it. You know how Witcher 3 got its PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series upgrade and then ultimately the sale price of Witcher 3 went up for a while. It's coming back down, but uh... Witcher 3 for a while was going on sale for 10 bucks, and then after the upgrade came out, the uh, sale price was $30, so... You know, uh, that sometimes does happen. Uh, with this upgrade, new elements include performance mode features for high frame rates, quality features for 4K resolution, gameplay, bug fixes, and bonus creation club content. Fallout 4 was one of the most anticipated games of the PlayStation 4 generation. Unfortunately, I think to a lot of people, it was a bit of a disappointment. I mean, the hype and the anticipation for the game was colossally high, and I thought how Bethesda revealed the game and then uh, released the game was so well done. It was such a breath of Fresh Air, even in 2015, where the game was revealed, I believe, either right before E3 of 2015 or at E3 of 2015, and then it was like six months later, the game was out uh, November of that year. Everybody knew Fallout 4 was in development, but Bethesda wasn't one of these developers like these days. And hell, Bethesda themselves do it now, back in, what was it, 2018, 2019, where they're teasing Elder Scrolls 6, you know, four or five years before it even enters into uh, full development. And same thing with Starfield. Um, in the case of Fallout 4, I really like how they handled it, where everybody knew it was in development, um, but they didn't officially confirm it. And then when it got revealed, it was already far along, and then boom, ready to go November of that year. It'd be really nice if a lot more developers would go that route. I just think, you know... And even Bethesda, and we know why Bethesda 
revealed Elder Scrolls 6 when they did that year at E3. It was so centered around live service games, Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls Blades, like nonsense that people just didn't really get excited for. Elder Scrolls Online was a big focus as well that year. And it, a lot of people just wanted, you know, the quality Bethesda open world title and, uh, you know, announcing Starfield with a teaser trailer and then announcing Elder Scrolls 6 with a teaser trailer. It was gonna kind of dupe people into being excited for Bethesda's prospects into the future, but Starfield ultimately didn't come out for four or five years after the initial reveal. And Elder Scrolls 6 won't be out until probably legitimately 10 years after uh, the trailer was revealed. So, uh, yeah, that was some nonsense that uh, hopefully Bethesda won't be doing anymore. And uh, hopefully Bethesda as a whole can get back on track it, with consistent releases. I get their games take so long to develop, but man, there was a time where... You know, Fallout 3 came out in 2008, Skyrim came out in 2011, and you look at Fallout 3 and Skyrim, three years apart for those two titles, and I think most people would prefer Fallout 3 and Skyrim uh, over Fallout 4 and uh, Starfield, and Fallout 4 and Starfield distance between those games were eight years versus three years between Fallout 3 and Skyrim. How insane is that, that the games that I think a lot of people would uh, say that, you know, Fallout 3 and Skyrim more beloved than Fallout 4 and Starfield easily, uh, but these uh, game development windows are just getting longer and longer, and I would argue game quality isn't uh, getting better, but that is, uh, that is some rhetoric that I constantly go back to, but at the very least, back to what I was talking about, Fallout 4 next-gen update for PS5, Xbox Series, and PC. It'll be a free upgrade, and it'll be coming in 2024. Lastly, I do want to know, publisher Ubisoft have released a five-minute gameplay overview trailer for the side-scrolling action-adventure platformer in Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Dash into a stylish and thrilling action-adventure platformer set in a mythological Persian world where the boundaries of time and space are yours to manipulate. Unleash your inner warrior, use your time powers, combat and platforming skills to perform deadly combos and defeat time-corrupted enemies and mythological creatures. Acquire and equip new amulets and shopkeepers to play as you see fit. Lose yourself in the world, discover a cursed Persian-inspired world filled with bigger-than-life landmarks, explore a variety of highly detailed biomes, each with its own identity, wonders and dangers, use your wits to solve puzzles, find hidden treasures, and complete quests to learn more about this corrupted place. And live an epic adventure, embark on a carefully crafted experience, enjoy high-quality graphics, immersive cinematics, and fresh artistic direction, along with a unique gameplay fluidity, thanks to 60 FPS on all platforms. That includes PS4, X1, and Nintendo no switch so i mean the game isn't a visual blow away but that is still pretty surprising that it's going to be 60 fps on all platforms that is dropping on january the 18th and a free demo is out on january the 11th january 18th into january 25th february 1st those three weeks are going to be absolutely insane with Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, you've got Tekken 8, the week after that, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, Persona 3 Reload, Suicide Squad, like, bro, just like, take my wallet at this point, like, it's take no prisoners when it comes to game releases in 2024, but, uh, Nonetheless, I feel like Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is going to be one that gets a bit lost in the shuffle, even though it's coming out before, like, the big wave of big title after big title. Um, I just think this is going to be one a lot of people forego, especially at the $50 price tag. I think that is going to push some people away. But that is going to do it for me. Again, uh, some free stuff with the Avatar as well as the Sonic Superstars DLC. Fallout 4's free next-gen upgrade is delayed until 2024. I think we all expected that, but nice to get some official confirmation. And Prince of Persia The Lost Crown gameplay overview trailer has dropped uh so check that out and again have some interest in that game but i do imagine a lot of you guys are going to skip that uh early next year but that'll do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.